The legendary United States Virgin Islands lying roughly around a thousand miles as a crow flies from Miami. Now, via sailboat to sail directly here would take you right around a week or a week and a half depending on your vessel. The USVIs consist of the main islands, St. Croix, St. John, and St. Thomas, as well as 50 other surrounding minor islands and caves. The total land area of the territory is 133 square miles. The capital is Charlotte Amel on the island of St. Thomas. The USVI are one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite place to sail throughout all of the Caribbean, and the reason will surprise you. It has absolutely nothing to do with beaches, bars, anything like that. It's the cost. Unlike the majority of the islands throughout the Lesser Antilles, in the USVI, you do not need to purchase a cruising permit. Now, initially, it doesn't sound like that big of a savings as cruising permits alone are not that much. However, if you plan on spending six months or a year, a few years down here in the Lesser Antilles, and you have to purchase cruising permits at every island you go to, it adds up fast. And if you calculate it over a year, you will be saving thousands of dollars just in cruising permits alone alone by spending three or six months in the USVIs. In addition to no cruising permit needed, also anchoring and mooring is free throughout all of the islands in any of the bays or harbors. You simply have to move every two weeks. There are several Customs and Border Patrol offices located throughout the islands. On St. John, it's at the Cruise Bay CPB Terminal. That one is open daily from 7 to 6 p.m. In St. Thomas, it's loaded at the ferry terminal in Charlotte Amel, as well as at the airport. Now in St. Croix, the only clearance is at the airport. It's not cruiser friendly at all, and it will cost you around $100 to get a taxi or rent a car to get there. Crew members must accompany the captain while clearing in, as each individual must be seen and sign the entry permit. For non-U.S. citizens, visiting the U.S. Virgin Islands is just like visiting the mainland United States. You do need a passport and may require a visa. If you plan to head on over to Puerto Rico, the Spanish Virgin Islands, or head back to the mainland United States of America, you do not require exit clearance papers from the USVI. You also do not need to clear out of the USVI if you are going to the BVI. If you plan on just making the quick jump over to the BVI and then returning to the USVIs, just use the new Rome app. I will put a link on my website directly to that so that you can download it. It makes checking in and out of most places fairly easy. Do keep in mind, however, the Rome app is being replaced by the One app in early 2022. The U.S. Virgin Islands do not issue firearms permits or licenses to non-residents or foreign nationals to carry concealed firearms. Firearms must be declared in all cases, even if you're a United States citizen and you do need a permit slash license. As an added bonus, the USVI is considered one of the easiest slash best places in the Caribbean to ship or bring in spare parts because of its duty-free status. Parts and packages can be shipped easily without any hassle via UPS, FedEx, DHL, or freight companies such as Ocean Freight. Between the USVI, Spanish Virgin Islands, as well as Puerto Rico, you can easily spend a year cruising throughout all of these islands and caves and spend next to zero money on anchoring as well as mooring. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why it is one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite place to sail in all of the Lesser Antilles. Another great way to save money while cruising and sailing full time is to become an American Sailing Association member. Discount code linked below in the description as well as the comments. It's only $49 for the entire year and like I said, it opens up dozens and dozens of other discounts to numerous products you're going to need while cruising full time throughout the Caribbean or anywhere in the world. St. John is an island with quite a few magical spots, just a short ferry ride away from St. Thomas. St. John has a super, super laid back vibe and is just plain gorgeous. 
Now, generally speaking, people who really want to enjoy the cruising lifestyle and all that the USVIs have to offer will make St. John their hub, as opposed to the nearby St. Thomas, which is an absolute madhouse. Now, it is the smallest of the three main islands in the U.S. Virgin Islands. It does enjoy a reputation as the most pristine, with a combination of natural beauty on land as well as in the water. This diverse member of the U.S. Virgin Islands offers travelers an abundance of opportunities for adventure. Trade winds keep the island warm and inviting and make it a great place to sail. The beaches of St. John are as breathtaking as they are diverse. Whatever you're looking for, you can find it here. Have a relaxing time in world famous Trunk Bay, enjoy the secluded Salt Pond Bay for a bit more privacy, or if you're a family on the go, check out Maho Bay where the waters are calm and shallow, perfect for younger ones. Be in the middle of the action over at Cinnamon Bay where snorkeling, windsurfing, kayaking, and proximity to land activities provide plenty to do. The water activities on St. John are as incredible as the white sandy beaches. Whether newly certified or a more advanced diver, it is possible to encounter more than 500 different species of fish, 40 types of coral, and hundreds of invertebrates inhabiting the water. There's a fantastic second story Irish pub called Quiet Mon Pub. Now it overlooks a bustling street here in Cruz Bay. It's a local spot and a great place to grab a beer. There's also Woody's Seafood Salon. Now this is a fantastic place to stop for happy hour and it's really poppin'. Now, if you're a bit more of a social butterfly and you're looking for a madhouse, then St. Thomas is where you want to go. It's both a historian's and an adventure seeker's playground. This is where all the cruise ships go, so it's generally a bustling nightmare of people 24-7. The island boasts one of the most beautiful harbors in the entire world, as well as some of the most popular activities throughout the U.S. Virgin Islands. You can indulge in some of the world's prettiest beaches, rediscover history and storied museums, forts, as well as historic houses. You can hike, bike, or take the Sky Tram, play around a golf, and grab a beer all in the same afternoon. If laid back is more your style, then enjoy St. Croix. It offers a world of delights to travelers looking for a more laid back experience in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Here you'll discover an island heavy in culture with historic landmarks, places of worship, and festivals that run all year long. St. Croix has some of the most renowned dining sites in the world. So if food is your forte, then St. Croix is where you should be. Now, if you do need help getting on the water or narrowing down your boat purchase, or you just need some information and some help, consider heading on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Over there, right on the homepage, you will see producer. Become a producer on the channel. With becoming a producer, you do get a one-on-one -on -one consult with me to discuss everything sailing related that you would need to, as well as you do get a year's access to our members area. Now, the members area is a fantastic place for information. We have hundreds of members over there, all in various stages of starting sailing. Some have just purchased boats, some are taking ASA classes, and so on. It is a wealth of information, and it's not a public forum. It's a private members area, so there's no harassment, there's no bullying, there's no judgment over there. It's just a great place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you would like to, you can also just send me $100 directly through PayPal. The link is in the description below for that as well. Now, if that's a little bit too much for the bank account, I completely understand. However, consider joining Patreon. For only $10 a month, you do get access again to the members area, which is a fantastic place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a comment down below, like, share, all that good stuff, make it go viral, I don't know, do something. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so, so much for joining.